Will everyone please rise for the presentation of colors by the combined honor guard from the Marion County Sheriff and Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department. Please welcome to the stage for the national anthem, Stephen Stolen, accompanied by the Indianapolis Children's Choir. Welcome to the stage, Bishop Benjamin from Light of the World Christian Church to give today's invocation. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Lord God Almighty, Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Father of us all, we come today at the beginning of a new year to give you praise for making all things new. Everything we have you gave us, everything we are you made us. We are here by your grace and your grace alone. Our hearts and prayers go out to all who are suffering the ravages of storms and floods but we all also have so much to be grateful for. This is a new day, and this is a new year, and you are calling us to be a new people. 
We thank you for the occasion for which we gather. It is a celebration of inauguration. We lift up before you your servant and our new mayor-elect, Joseph Hogsett, his family, his administration, as well as our city council. You have not called them to celebrity, but you've called them to service. Lord, make us one. O oh God, the God of something new, anoint your servants with a new sense of unity, a new sense of purpose, and a new sense of vision. God, you have proven in your word that where there is no godly vision, the people perish. We also recognize conversely that where there is godly vision, the people prosper. Lord, make us one. We need your blessing today. Even before we receive it, let us be the first to confess that we are sinners, flawed and often foolish. We all like sheep have gone astray and as a result, we have suffered greatly. Have mercy on us and renew a right spirit within us. We can no longer afford the poverty of partisanship or the luxury of labels, calling ourselves Democrat or Republican, rich or poor, gay or straight, urban or suburban, black, brown, yellow, red or white. We are all precious in your sight. Lord, make us one. O oh God of the new thing, help us to realize that our city and our nation is in crisis, a crisis of faith. Teach us to walk by faith and not by sight. It is not always what we see, but it is what we don't see. Murder, mayhem, media, media manipulation, these are unseen issues. But honestly, we know that they are issues of the heart. God, teach us how to walk by faith and not fear, how not to be conformed to this world, but transformed by the renewing of our minds. Wherever we work, whatever we do, whether in government or industry, let us do it by faith in you, O oh God. One nation, one city, one people, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lord, make us one. This is our prayer. On this first day of January, in the year of our Lord, 2016, and the congregation said, Amen. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Judge of the United States District Court, Southern District of Indiana, Tanya Walton Pratt, as well as Mayor elect Joe Hogsett and his family. to the mic. <laughs> Would you raise your right hand and repeat after me? I, Joe Hogsett. I, Joe Hogsett. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Indiana. And the Constitution of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office of mayor of the city of Indianapolis. Of the office of mayor of the city of Indianapolis. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my ability. And to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you.
You may be seated. <laughs> Bishop Benjamin, my dear friend, Judge Tanya Walton Pratt, who I'm so proud of, Congressman Carson, President Lewis, Leader McQuillan, fellow citizens, all. A little less than two months ago, with the safety and well-being of their families, firmly in mind, the people of Indianapolis put their trust in 26 of their fellow citizens. I am proud to be one of those 26. We may we may come from different parts of the city, different political parties, different backgrounds, but today, as Bishop Benjamin so eloquently prayed, today it is in unity and mutual respect that my colleagues and I have come before you for something both simple and sacred. We came to this place to take an oath, 56 words that on this day each of us must raise our hands and say for all to hear. Today in 56 words we promise the people the best of our abilities, what President Abraham Lincoln called the better angels of our nature. In, in 56 words, we make a vow of impartiality, knowing that our commitment is to make better the lives of all, not make richer the lives of a few. In 56 words, we each swear to be faithful in discharging our duties, understanding that those duties come at an uncertain and hazardous time, a time that requires of us the courage to do what is hard and what is right, no matter the cost, even if that cost is the next election. In the 195-year history of our city, we have faced great challenge before. What makes today different is that we face not one crisis, but the convergence of three. The first is a crime epidemic that, with each passing day, spreads further and grows more violent. The second is our city-county budget. This is the truth. Each year, we face a $50 million structural budget deficit. And time has run out on the accounting methods of the past. And finally, the third the third crisis we face is one that more than any other weighs heavy the heart. There is in this city, in our city, a large and identifiable population of children who have been all but forgotten. One-third of children in Indianapolis today are born into poverty, and most never escape. Every day they attend schools that are not able to fairly or adequately educate them. In the evening, they return home to neighborhoods plagued by blight and crime. And most nights, 
They go to bed hungry. These are our children. Each of these crises is years in the making. None will be addressed in one month or one year or maybe not even one administration. Nor can any one of these crises be solved by government alone. We know that. If we are to address all of them, it will require all of us. The city will rise to every crisis only if every citizen will help lift it. So today I am asking the people of Indianapolis for your help. I ask for more of your time and your talent, for more of your thoughts and ideas, more of your compassion and kindness, more of your dedication and commitment. In times such as these, when what is right and what is easy diverge, in times such as these when fear and the belief that things will never change comes all too easily, in times such as these, when the possibility of progress and the faith we have in that progress comes hard, we learn the true measure of our community. Over 115 years ago, a laborer knelt next to the cornerstone of the people's building, our old city hall. And the laborer etched the words of former Indianapolis Mayor Charles Bookwalter into that cornerstone. And these are the words he etched. I am myself a citizen of no mean city. Some believe his words to be a reference to the disposition of the people of Indianapolis, to their kindness, to their good nature, and that belief is certainly well grounded, for we are a decent and welcoming city. But those words were meant to convey something else about us. They were meant to convey our drive to rise above, our desire to be exceptional, our belief that in the heart of America, a humble and hardworking people, a people that some call ordinary, can build a city that is extraordinary. Fellow citizens, it is now our time. This generation must take its place, for in crisis we, all of us, are now called to make new again the promise that is uniquely Indianapolis. We are called as one people, for we are one city. And as one, and as one, to paraphrase the words of the poet Maya Angelou, we rise, we rise, we rise, we rise. I thank you.
please welcome to the stage Indianapolis City County Council President Maggie Lewis. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Maggie A. Lewis. I, Maggie A. Lewis. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Indiana. And the Constitution of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties of the office of the office of Indianapolis City County Council Member District 10. Of the office <laughs> of City County Council Indianapolis District 10. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my ability. And the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is an honor to stand before each and every one of you on this very special day. As we reflect over the highs and lows of 2015, let us never forget that we have more things in common than not. At the end of the day, we all want to feel safe, secure, love, peace, and harmony. Having this many members of the City County Council here today, along with our mayor, is an amazing way to start off our year and should serve as a reminder that we are all in this together. Dear friends, the time is now. This is our time to put our differences aside. It is time to end the chatter about the old guard versus the new guard, blacks versus white, rich versus poor. It is time to put our differences aside and do what is best for our children, our families, our neighborhoods, our city, one city. Together, we can move Indianapolis forward. God bless. Please welcome to the stage Council Minority Leader Michael McQuillan and his family. On our axis. Ready? <laughs> and repeat after me. I, Mike McQuillan. I, Mike McQuillan. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Indiana. Of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the Office of Indianapolis City County Council of the Office of Indianapolis City County Council according to law according to law and to the best of my ability and to the best of my ability so help me God so help me God congratulations Kelsey. thank you so much appreciate it Good, good. Thank you, everybody, fellow citizens, our veteran and freshman counselors, Madam President, and of course, our new mayor, Mayor Joe Hogsett. It's a great honor to be sworn in today to serve the people of District 4 and all the people of our city on the Indianapolis City County Council. 
As of today's swearing in, personally as a counselor, I will have served under almost every imaginable combination. A Republican mayor with a Republican-led council, a Republican mayor with a Democratic council, and now a Democratic mayor with a Democratic majority council. But each of these scenarios has been based on the concept of service. And that is why everyone here has taken time today out of their lives to acknowledge another milestone in Indianapolis history this afternoon. Each of you, you, each of us that you will see taking the oath today has many people in our lives to thank for the opportunity to serve. And we do say thanks to our families and supporters, but this day isn't about us, but rather it's about you and your priorities and making life in Indianapolis safe and productive with quality city services that are administered in a thoughtful and cost-efficient way. Politicians can only lead by consent. And I know I can speak for all of my fellow counselors when I thank you for placing us the sacred trust of governing this great city of ours. And I encourage the citizens of Marion County to hold all of us accountable for future progress and invite you to include your input as we attend countless committees and hearings about our municipal government as one. At the end of the day, we are all in this together to make our families, our children's families, and the lives of future Indianapolis generations the best that they can be. So, counselors, Madam President, Mr. Mayor, let's get to work. Thank you very much. Please welcome back Council President Maggie Lewis. So again, it is so wonderful to have several of our uh, members of the City County Council here today to participate in this wonderful event. We do have um, seven um, of my colleagues that are not here this afternoon, but they will be sworn in at a later date, but they really wanted to be here, but it's the holidays and you know the, their plans just not allow them to be here. So they will get sworn in again at a later date. The first um, counselor that will come forward and be sworn in will be Counselor Zach Adamson. Big Bible. <laughs> Would you raise your right hand and please repeat after me? I, Zach Adams. I, Zach Adamson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Indiana. And the Constitution of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office of Indianapolis City County Council Member District 17. Of the office of City County Council Member District, uh, District 17. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my ability. And to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> We will now have Councilor Monroe Gray to come next. I have to do this again. Yep. You would raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Monroe Gray. I, Monroe Gray. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Indiana. And the Constitution of, the, of Indiana. And I will faithfully. And I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. 
discharge the duties discharge the duties of the office of the office of Indianapolis City County Council of the office of the Indianapolis City County Council member district number 8 <laughs> According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my ability. And to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. And if our minority whip, Janice McHenry, would please join us on the stage. after me. I state your name. I, Janice Shattuck McHenry, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear or affirm or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Indiana. And the Constitution of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully and I will faithfully impartially impartially and diligently and diligently discharge the duties discharge the duties of the office of the office of Indianapolis City County Council member of the Office of City County Council Member District 6. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my ability. And to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Bless you. Would Councillor Leroy Robinson join us on stage? Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Leroy Robinson. I, Leroy Robinson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Indiana. Of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of City County Council Member District 1 of the Office of City County Council, Member District 1. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my abilities. And to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Judge. And if we could be joined by Councilor Elect Colleen Fanning. right hand and repeat after me. I, Colleen Fanning. I, Colleen Fanning. 
do solemnly swear do solemnly swear or affirm or affirm that i will support the constitution that i will support the constitution of the united states of the united states and the constitution and the constitution of the state of indiana of the state of indiana and that i will faithfully and that i will faithfully impartially impartially and diligently and diligently discharge the duties discharge the duties of the office of the office of indianapolis city county council Member District 2 of the Office of Indianapolis City County Council Member District 2 according to the law according to the law and to the best of my ability to the best of my abilities so help me God so help me God congratulations thank you <laughs> If Councilor elect Coates would join us on stage. I've got a nice big Bible. <laughs> Council, if you would raise your right hand and please repeat after me. I, Jeff Coates. I, Jeff Coates. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the state of Indiana. Of the state of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. And I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of Indianapolis City County Council Member District. Five. five of the office of Indianapolis City County Council District five to the best of my abilities to the best of my abilities according to the law according to the law so help me God so help me God congratulations <laughs> Could we please be joined by Councillor William Duke Oliver. If you would raise your right hand and put your left on the Bible and repeat after me. I, I, William Duke Oliver. William Duke Oliver. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Indiana. Of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of city county council. Of city county council. Member district number nine. Member district number nine. Absolutely. <laughs> According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my abilities. And to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Council. <laughs> Would Councillor Clay join us on stage?
put your, right, your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand, Reverend Clay, and repeat after me. I, Stephen Clay. I, Stephen J. Clay. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Indiana. Of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of Indianapolis City County Council member. Of the office of City County Council member. District. District 13. District 13, according to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my abilities. And to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> If we could please be joined on the stage by Councillor Jackson. Raise your right hand and your left on the Bible and repeat after me. I, Lakeisha Jackson. I, Lakeisha Jackson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Indiana. Of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of Indianapolis. Of Indianapolis City County Council, City County member, Council member District 14. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my abilities. And ability. to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Would Councillor Feaster join us on stage? Would you like to use a Bible? Yes, please. Would you repeat after me? I. I, Marilyn Feaster, Marilyn Feaster, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, or affirm, or affirm, that I will support the Constitution, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, of the United States, and the Constitution, and the Constitution of the State of Indiana, of the State of Indiana, and that I will faithfully, and that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and diligently, and diligently, discharge the duties, discharge the duties of the office, of the office, of city county councilor, of city county councilor, member district, member district 15, according to the law, according to the law, and to the best of my abilities, and to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. If we could please be joined by Councillor Jeff Miller. If you 
raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Jeff Miller. I, Jeff Miller. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Indiana. Of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of Indianapolis City County Council of Indianapolis City County Council Member District 16. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my abilities. And to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. If Councilor, Councilor Elect Cordy would join us on stage. She would raise your right hand and please repeat after me. I, Susie Cordy. Hi, Susie Cordy. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Indiana. Of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of Indianapolis City County Council Member District. 18. <laughs> I will. <laughs> of Indianapolis City County Council. Indianapolis City County Council member Mi District 18. Great. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my ability. And to the best of my ability. So help me so God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Could we please be joined by Councilor-elect David Ray. Raise your right hand. I, David Ray. I, David Ray. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Indiana. Of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of Indianapolis City County Council member. Of Indianapolis City County Council member, District 19. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my abilities. And to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. If Councillor Frank Muscari would join us on stage. Would you like to use a Bible? Yeah. Left hand, right. Left hand. Raise your right. 
I, Frank Mascari. I, Frank Mascari. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. In the Constitution of the of State Indiana, of Indiana. In the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. And I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of Indianapolis. Indianapolis. City County Council Member District. 21, in Indianapolis City County Council District 21. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my ability. And to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Go Irish. If we please could be joined by Councilor-elect Jared Evans. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Jared Evans. I, Jared Evans. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Indiana. Of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of Indianapolis City County Council Member District blank. Of the office of City County Council District or Member District 22. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my abilities. And to the absolute best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. If Councilor-elect Scott Kreider could join us on stage. If you would raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Scott Kreider. I, Scott Kreider. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. And affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Indiana. Of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. Then, and that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of Indianapolis. Indianapolis City County Council Member District 23 City County Council uh, Member District 23 according to the law according to the law and to the best of my ability and to the best of my abilities so help me God so help me God congratulations Could we please be joined by Councilor-elect Blake Johnson. If you would raise your right hand and please repeat after me. I, Blake Johnson. I, Blake Johnson. 
do solemnly swear do solemnly swear or or affirm or affirm that i will support the constitution that i will support the constitution of the united states of the united states and the constitution and the constitution of the state of indiana the state of indiana and that i will faithfully that I'll faithfully, impartially, impartially, and diligently, and diligently discharge the duties, discharge the duties of the office, of the office of Indianapolis City County Council, of Indianapolis City County Council, member district, member district 12, according to the law, according to the law, and to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm pleased to present to you your Indianapolis City County Council and Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett. Will you all please stand for a picture? Will you all please stand on the stage for a picture? While you're standing, ladies and gentlemen, as they like to say, we're going to save the best for last. We have redone the timeline 28 times, so on the 29th redo, I would like to introduce to you Counselor Jack Sandlin. I, Jack Sandler. I, Jack Sandlin. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Indiana. Of the State of Indiana. And that I will faithfully. And I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And diligently. And diligently. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of Indianapolis City of, County Council member of the Office of Indianapolis City County Council Member District 24. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my abilities. And to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> And now I'm happy to present to you your Indianapolis City County Council and Mayor Joe Hogsett. Please welcome to the stage Rabbi Gettinger from the congregation B'nai Torah for our benediction. Congratulations to Mayor Hoxett and the entire City County Council. I've been a rabbi for uh, over 40 years, uh, but this, I believe, is the first time that I was actually asked to give a benediction. I've given invocations and all kinds of other addresses, so I decided to look up in the dictionary precisely what a benediction is. 
The uh, dictionary said, the asking of God's blessing. Well, that reminded me of something that happened when over, I think, five decades already, when I was in fourth grade. And in the parochial Jewish school that I attended, the principal, who was a very well-respected rabbi, would like to follow a policy of coming in unexpectedly to uh, test the classes. And he came in once when we were studying about the first Jew, Abraham. And a classmate of mine was being grilled by him and discussing the great hospitality that uh, Abraham did and extended to all kinds of guests. He, we also learned that uh, at the end of the stay at Abraham's home, Abraham would give a blessing to the guest. So the principal, wanting to make sure that my classmate knew what a blessing was, asked him, what's a blessing? So he said, you know, a blessing. So he said, but what is a blessing? He said, you bless. <laughs> so the principal was not satisfied. And so he said, well, let's role play. He said to my friend, you be Abraham and I will be your guest. And you've just served me a very nice meal, you made me comfortable, and now I'm leaving. And you said that Abraham would give a blessing to his guest as the guest left. So you give me, the principal said, a blessing. And my friend said to the principal, may you rest in peace. <laughs> There are times that resting in peace is a blessing. <laughs> and there are times that that, of course, is not what we want at all. On a per very personal note, I'd like to say that I admire the perseverance of Mayor Hoxett. It's a sterling example for all of us to persevere no matter what the setbacks may have been and I am delighted for you at your accomplishment. To the entire administration, to the city county council, let us pray at this time and ask that God indeed extend his blessing upon the new administration, the new mayor, the city county members as well, and may God grant that they continue to persevere. There are going to be challenges, many challenges, and may God grant that you have the necessary wisdom, insight, and foresight to be successful, to see to it that indeed we are blessed with peace, that we have a successful and a prosperous community, that hopefully we can utilize this opportunity to begin a new era for the city of Indianapolis, who will bless, hopefully, the new administration and thereby bless the entire community that we all live in the image of God and be held up for emulation by other communities. May the Almighty bless all of you and may we continue to share good news one with another and let us all say amen. Thank you, for, thank you for joining us today, and thank you to Eli Lilly and IU Health for sponsoring today's inauguration. Please join us in the lobby for refreshments.